Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to complete um, your value techniques worksheet um, using different uh, watercolor techniques. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is write your name and hour at the top of your paper. Um, you will be turning this in, so it's really important that you can um, identify which one's yours because they might look pretty similar. Um, you will want to have your worksheet, a paint palette, um, some paint brushes, a tub of water, not quite full, uh, do about half full. You'll want to have some newspaper underneath your worksheet. I'm using just a piece of scrap white paper. Um, you'll want to have a paper towel. Um, and then there will also be some materials at your table that you can use as well. The first thing I'm going to show you how to do is create a value scale um, using watercolor. Now, the key with making a value scale is anytime you want to have a light color, you want to have more water and less paint. So over here, I have a lot of water, very little paint. And as I work my way across the value scale, you can see dark colors, you want more paint and less water. So here is the purple as it comes straight out of um, the watercolor uh, container. Um, and then gradually there's more water um, that's been mixed in with it. So I'm going to take my paintbrush and we need to activate the watercolor. So I dip my paintbrush in my water and then I add some drips of water to each of my colors so that way I can activate them. And I'm probably going to go ahead and just work with purple um, for my color like my example just because then um, it's a dark color and it gives me um, a lot of room to work with for values. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and start by putting some water in one of the sections of my paint palette. So I'm just taking some, and it looks like there might be a little green paint left over from the last person who used this brush, so make sure you rinse out your brush real well so it's nice and clean. So I've put some water in one of the sections of my paint palette. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to work with a smaller brush because I want to have control over how much paint I'm adding to this water. So I'm going to take, I'm going to stir that up a little bit on my paint tray. And that's way too much um, purple. If I were to use that right now, um, it would be really saturated. Actually, let's show what color we are aiming for. So I'm going to start with just plain purple. And I'm going to go ahead and fill in this square. Now notice I'm leaving a little gap um, to the left. I want you to leave spaces, so a little bit of space in between your uh, each of your values. If you paint right up to the edge and then paint the next square, what's going to happen is um, all of your colors are going to run together and it's going to look like one big watercolor blob and it'll be hard to see exactly um, what each of your values are. So I'm leaving a little gap there and if you need to you can do a second layer. It was looking a little light so I did a second layer over the top. So now I have a really nice dark uh, violet color. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse out my paintbrush real well. Uh, I can even dry it on my paper towel and now I'm going to start on the opposite end. So that's the color I'm aiming to reach to. Now I want to start with a very light version of it. So I'm just going to barely touch the tip of my paintbrush into the violet I'm going to add it to my water and I'm going to stir it up real well. And you can see my water change colors a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint in my first square of my value scale. So this gives me a nice light violet. And again, notice I'm not going all the way to the edge of my square. I'm leaving a little bit of a gap so that it won't uh, run into the color next to it. So then I take my paintbrush and I dip it into my violet again. I'm going to stir it up a little bit more. And I'm going to go ahead and paint in my second square. So you should see it starts to get a little bit darker. If it looks the same, you have a couple of options. So if it's looking too similar, you can do another small dab of paint from your paint tray, or you can do a second layer of paint, um, but I can see a little bit of difference there. I might add a little more paint up here. So that looks good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and take another dab of paint, stir it in here, 
Now remember, my paint to water ratio, I still have a lot more water here than I do paint, so my colors are going to continue to stay light. Now that looks very, very similar to me, so I might do a second dab of paint. Stir that up. So that's starting to look a little bit darker. So we want each square to look different than the last square. Now, as I'm finishing this, I'm thinking it does still look very similar, so I'm going to go ahead and add one more dab of paint, and I'm going to paint over it a second time. So you'll notice it starts to get a little bit darker. 